Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a review and demo for y'all today on a BB cream, and this is actually a Korean BB cream. This is my first experience trying out a Korean beauty product, and I'm really excited about it, and I would love to try more. So if you have some recommendations for me, things you'd like me to try out, or even like places I can purchase more Korean beauty products, let me know that down below, because I would love to. But I had heard great things about this product from a couple people here on YouTube. Let me tell you what it is first. This is the Holica Holica Aqua Petite Jelly BB. So that's what this product is. I heard about this from Taylor from Matt Taylor and Cassie from Thrift Thick, and they both had great things to say about it. So I had to try it for myself. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. I will talk about the pricing. We'll look at the packaging. I'll talk about some of the claims, at least what I can find online. I'll show you a demo of this, like how I apply it. And then I'll wrap up at the end with my overall thoughts and opinions and review on this product. So let's get to it. So the price kind of varies based on where you purchase it. I got mine from iHerb.com and it was $11.19, but I've seen it up to about $20. So it kind of varies in price, but overall a great price point and you do get quite a bit of product in here this has 1.35 ounces in it so good amount of product great price point the packaging on this is absolutely stinking adorable this is the outside box on it so cute and colorful and just fun and happy I love it the actual bottle is so pretty it's a glass bottle and it almost looks like a like a flower petal or something. It's so pretty. It's got little polka dots on it. I love it. It's super, super cute. It does come with this spongy thing, which I accidentally like ripped a little section out of it somehow. So I don't really like this. It's a very hard sponge, so I don't use this, but it does, it did come in my box that I purchased. Um, it's a spatula applicator. So you can see it there. It's a spatula and it's a very, I mean, it is like, pudding or jello or something like that really is the consistency of it so to say that it is a jelly bb it really is it's a really interesting texture to it um but just know it's a spatula applicator to get it out okay so i've got my phone here because i've pulled up several different websites with some information about this product there's not like a ton of information about this online but i found what i could so first off there are only two different shade options in this so that is a major negative to it there's only two options there is aqua beige 01 which is the one that i have and there is aqua natural 02 so two shade options there so this is the Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream, which has SPF 20 PA++ UV Protection Sun Care Cosmetics. It says, Full Water Charged Aqua Petite Jelly. This is from iHerb that I'm reading right now. This says, Jelly BB Cream makes moist and bouncy jelly skin. Has jelly texture that helps spread evenly, creates fully hydrated and shiny skin which is scary sounding because I have oily skin. It is also perfect for covering up facial blemishes. Mint water hydrates facial skin and marine jelly complex makes soft and bouncy skin. Then from another website, I found this description. It says this water-based BB cream is a hit product in Korea and works well for combination oily skin, which I have combination oily skin. It has a wonderful jelly texture that helps makeup spread more evenly, leaving your skin looking dewy, hydrated, and flawless. It has great coverage and comes in two shades, 01 Aqua Beige, which works well for people with cooler tones, and 02 Aqua Natural, which may work well for people with warmer tones. So that's just an FYI. And then also I found some information about the ingredients in here, which is exciting. It says, let's see, the first um, ingredient is water, and then the second is titanium dioxide, but it also has some botanical extracts in it like aloe and peppermint along with lightweight moisturizers, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. So great ingredients in here. So basically it's supposed to work for combo oily skin. Um, it's supposed to have great ingredients in here and it's supposed to look um, a little bit dewy on your skin. And then the other website said kind of like bouncy skin, but also shiny skin. So I wasn't going for shiny skin when I purchased this. I was going for all those other things, great ingredients and just nice looking skin. So those are the claims. Now we're gonna get to the demo and I'll wrap up at the end. So I'm gonna start off by applying this. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer Plus Serum. 
I've really been liking this and it almost acts like a primer but not a hundred percent like sometimes I still wear it with a primer but sometimes I don't so but I just really like it now I am gonna apply a primer this is a Laura Mercier foundation primer 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 blemishless and I don't notice like a huge difference when I wear a primer with this BB cream versus not um but I've just been wearing a primer lately and I don't know I've just been applying a primer lately so I'm gonna apply it again today I feel like my skin's been a little bit oilier lately so that's why I've been using a primer a little bit more okay so I'm gonna get some of this product on the little spatula thing and I'm gonna show you um applied with a sponge really quickly I just a uh, I just like a br I can't speak today I just like a brush better but I'll show you quickly a sponge if this is like how you like to apply your foundation or BB creams it's just lighter coverage so that's why I prefer a brush but let me quickly show you this So there it is on this half of my face applied with the sponge so you can see it is super super light coverage so I don't like applying it that way um, I don't just I use a brush more often than a sponge so I'm gonna show you with the brush and the brush I'm using is the Sedona lace 480 so I'm gonna apply it on this half of my face and then also even up on the other side of my face apply just a little bit more over there I feel like there's not much coverage going on over there right now so you can see it's a very like kind of whippy sort of a formula it smells I don't know kind of like a light lotion like um how would I describe that cucumbery not really cucumbery but almost like that kind of like a fresh lotion so you can see this is giving me a lot more coverage Okay, so here it is with overall one layer so I would say light to medium coverage and just a really like natural finish to it I would say kind of like satin is how I would describe it so it's not super matte for sure but it's not overly glowy either so I really like this for like just a like a very natural looking BB cream slash foundation because of the coverage and the way it looks on the skin but I'm going to show you one more layer so you can see that it can be built up a little bit more and just a side note this has a very kind of like almost cooling feeling on the skin it feels like skincare like a light cooling moisturizer or something I love how it feels on the skin it's so nice and here it is with a second layer I think it looks so pretty on the skin because it builds up to be about a medium coverage which is really what I personally prefer and it just looks very skin like and I don't feel like I'm wearing a bunch of makeup on my skin it just feels very light it looks light it looks like skin to me so I love the way it looks on the skin I think it's so so nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with more thoughts okay so going back to those claims so first off the ingredients I assume that those ingredients are in here but that excites me about this product I love the thought of putting something on my skin that not only kind of perfects the look of it which this definitely does but also is doing good things for my skin so it's like that skincare mixed with the coverage so I do definitely love that about this product and I assume that those ingredients that are supposed to be in there that they're in there so that one website that said shiny skin this really doesn't give me shiny skin at all which is a good thing so that's something I like about it I like that it doesn't deliver on that claim um, it says it hydrates facial skin and marine jelly complex makes soft and bouncy skin it does feel hydrating on the skin and I do feel like it just looks really like 
light and nice on the skin. So I could I could see how that word kind of bouncy would apply because it's it's just got that like kind of light, nice look on the skin. So yes, I think it delivers on that. Um, works well for combination oily skin. So let's talk about the wear time on this. I'm so impressed with how this wears. I love how it looks when I first apply it and I love how it wears throughout the day. It just lasts. It really, really does. I do get a little bit shiny, mainly on my forehead, but I pretty much get shiny on my forehead with most things. So I do get a little bit shiny with this, but not that bad and it doesn't break down on me. It just looks skin-like throughout the day. It feels light throughout the day. I'm loving this. So let's just get to the wrap up. I love, love, love this BB cream. I love how it feels. I love how it smells. I love how it looks in the packaging. I love how it wears. Did I already say I like how it looks on the skin? I love that too. I love how it looks when I first apply it. I love how it looks throughout the day. So I feel like it's a skincare product plus that coverage. It's cute. It wears well. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm love, love, loving this. Highly recommend it. So that wraps up my review and demo on the Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you have other suggestions of other Korean beauty products that I could try or places that I could purchase them. I would love to know your recommendations because I am super interested in trying other products after trying this one. So let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.